So, you know what? I need to start this video differently. Hold on one second. Okay, welcome back class. Please have a seat. So, calm down, calm. Fingers on lips. Fingers on my lips. Everybody else goes quiet. <laughs> I come from a family of teachers. Maybe I've gone into the wrong trade. <laughs> so class, let's start with the question. Can you tell me the difference between a megabyte and a megabit? Because you see, they are both data, but they're two very different things. A megabyte measures the volume of data, whereas a megabit is used to measure the speed of that data. And for every one megabyte, there are eight megabits. This measurement of 8 bits to 1 byte, or 8 megabits to 1 megabyte, historically comes from the fact that it takes 8 bits to encode a single letter of text. And how you'll see these written out in short form in the real world is capital M and B for megabytes, or a capital M with a short case B for megabits. Got it? Good then why is it so difficult for internet service providers to tell you that? Either the fact that this is hidden across all major broadband provider websites is just a genuine mistake, or they are lying to you by omission. Let's get into it. Hey, uh, welcome to New Rising Media your home of hands-on reviews and gloves off opinions about tech and gaming. I'm Mr. England, your teacher for today, and I thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to check out this video. Cheers. Now, I'm certainly not the first to tell you this difference between a megabyte and a megabit. Far, far more talented YouTubers than myself who actually pass computer science have dabbled and made detailed explainers on this. So do go check them out using the links in the description. But this video isn't about that. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna talk about the impact of this not being communicated properly. And we start by asking a simple question. Do normal people know the difference between a megabyte and a megabit because of course you do you there watching this you probably found this video amongst the sea in your recommended feed of nerdy youtube content so chances are you're a bit of a geek like me <laughs> and if in a situation you didn't then i've already told you what the difference is at the beginning of the video to which if you are still here thanks for sticking around hope i don't bore you too much and if you enjoy this then do hit that subscribe button down there. I, like many of you, have been hit with the onslaught of broadband ads running at the moment. Whether it's a seal clapping its fins at Virgin Media, or maybe the Sky Broadband ad that looks a little bit like a Windows screensaver. All of them tell you how fast they are and how cheap they are. So you go over to the website and you take a look. On the face of it, they're giving you a pretty good deal, but they're not telling you something quite critical here. For example, I'm on the M350 broadband package from Virgin Media, and here is the website. I'll pop it around here somewhere so you can see. And as you can see, based on my explainer before, this is megabits per second, but there is no explainer that what you are looking at is megabits per second. So I'd say it's easy for people to mistake this as megabytes. Even when you go more granular, maybe you think they will have some in-depth literature about how they measure the speeds of their internet and what kind of rules they have to follow. But even the broadband speeds declaration page that Virgin Media have to publish to abide by Ofcom and the Advertising Standards Agency doesn't have a single thing on the page that would have easily answer this question, Mbps equals megabits per second. I don't know, maybe I'm making this a bigger problem than it actually is, but it's grinding my gears and I want to get to the bottom of it. I'm not complaining about the speeds, I'm complaining about the lack of communication. So to put this to the test, I recruited the help of my friends and family and I'm going to show them a similar promo like what I showed you and I'm going to ask them what they see and whether they know what the speed actually is. I would do a man on the street with a microphone because I absolutely love it when local news does that, but COVID, you know, it's, it's, it'll be a bit weird to do it at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call up a couple of my friends and show them this Virgin Media broadband package page and ask them some simple questions about it. Namely, number one, 
what is the speed that they see? Number two, what is the specific metric of that speed? And number three, how that translates to megabytes? And finally, whether this page is doing everything it can to be as transparent to the consumer as possible. So we start with my mate Moody. If you've listened to my virtual pub podcast, who you'll know as the person who gets my socialist tendencies back into line. <laughs> and out of all of my mates, he is the more knowledgeable in technology. So this should be a pretty open and shut case. So how are you doing, Moody? I'm good, thanks, you? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. I've sent you across the Virgin Media broadband packages and I just want you to tell me, on the M100, what speed do you get with it? Uh, it says 108. On 108, how many? Megabits. And do you know what a megabit is? I don't know the exact calculation. All I know is that if you want to turn it into a real download speed that you'd see if you were, for example, downloading a file off the internet, you're basically going to be divided by eight. And do you feel that there's a general lack of clarity in this. We're both more like technologically adept so that we already know that, but for the standard consumer out there, do you feel like that's a bit of a vague? Uh, I think, I think yes, I think you've got the difference between megabits and megabytes, which feels like a lot of people wouldn't understand. I suppose to a certain extent, the way things are now and, and the speeds that you get with your internet connections, it's probably less about a number and more about what you can do with it. The next person I'm gonna to talk to is my mate Lucretia, a freelance photographer who I used to work with back in my marketing agency days, and someone who in my mind represents that middle ground. And by that, I mean somebody who has all the knowledge they need, to make these educated decisions, but doesn't have and doesn't need to have the in-depth nitty gritty knowledge that Moody has. So Lucretia, how on earth are you? One second. <laughs> That's a pretty good symbolism of how you're doing at the moment. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. I've got you on here to ask about broadband and I have some simple questions. Question number one, take a look at the M100 package for me. Yeah. Can you tell me what speed of broadband you get from that? 108. 108 what? MBPS, megabytes per second. So that is actually megabits per second. To get megabytes, there's eight bits to every byte. So actually, megabytes per second, you take that number and you divide it by eight. Oh. Do you think anywhere on this website that's been made clear to you? There's nothing that explains that it's mega bits, not bytes. So all in all, this very unscientific experiment is a bit of a representation of the general misunderstanding around internet speeds and the general knack of knowledge of this difference, which ISPs are not helping with. So what the hell am I trying to say here? Well, I'm not saying that the packages that broadband providers provide are bad. We may not have the best broadband infrastructure here in the UK, but it's all right. It does the job. It more than capably does the job for families, in fact, especially when you compare it to the days of 56K dial-up. The definition of speed that internet service providers use, as I've showed you before, is technically correct. By Ofcom's voluntary codes of practice around broadband speeds, they require transparency via providing relevant context of speeds and a minimum guaranteed download speed at the time of buying. But in their quest to keep companies honest, they've kind of missed the point here because even they don't mention the difference between a megabit and a megabyte. And I challenge Ofcom to change this because while the problem isn't about companies being genuinely disingenuous or anything like that, and I think these guys are trying to hold anything back from anyone, they are just confusing normal customers by withholding this information and purchase decisions may be affected by it. Like for example, maybe a family of four go for a broadband package and you think about the increased demand for bandwidth at this point in time, whether it's with mum and dad watching Netflix downstairs, with both of them on their phones, one of them checking Twitter, one of them on Instagram, who knows. And then you've got the kids upstairs, one of them is watching 4K YouTube and the other one is streaming online playing Fortnite. If they look at the cheapest possible Virgin Media package of M100, that's not gonna do it for them. And before they know it, they've signed up to a year long contract without any chance of changing it. Of course, there's the right to cancel, but that's not the point here. I'm not even saying the entire industry needs to be forced to change to megabytes per second, because obviously you can make your speed sound a whole lot better when talking about megabits. And after a decade of being turned into a real cynical bastard in marketing, if you have the chance to make something sound better, you grab it with both hands. And technically, measuring speed in megabits 
provides a more accurate reading, as the internet delivers in bits and not bytes. But most of us are probably sat there saying, who, who the, the hell, hell cares? Is? Because to most of us, this is just another unnecessary layer of complexity that we don't need. At least give people the explanation of what this all means, or maybe a bits to bytes translator. So then people are armed with the knowledge to make better decisions for themselves. Surely the people deserve that. But in the meantime, just take that number and divide it by eight for a number that is more relevant to the way that you speak about the size of files. Do that for any time you see an internet speed that is written as a capital M and a lowercase bps megabits per second in places such as internet speeds on adverts and the speed of SSDs or hard drives. I'm coming for you next, portable storage companies. But for now, that is gonna do it. Thank you so very much for watching. I know this was a bit of a different video than usual. Normally I know I'm the guy who's like, woo, got something cool to unbox and something to review, maybe a coffee machine or a new console or whatever it may be. But this is something I care about deeply because technology and the digital world is fucking mint and nobody out there should ever feel too confused or too overwhelmed to be a part of it. If you agree and want to see more stuff like this, then please do show your support on this video. Good chat up in the comments let's have a chat also a quick news flash from me before i finish this video chances are you've probably already seen this on my twitter if not you can find me at mr jason england on twitter but i recently took a job as a writer at tom's hardware and laptop magazine one month in it's going pretty damn well i'll throw a link to my first feature in the description below where i write about the best apple arcade games spoiler alert Turns out if you assumed that Apple Arcade was just that one with the phone games or doesn't really have console quality games, you could not be more wrong. So if you have a free trial handy to redeem, get it and play the games that I tell you to play. And as always, likes if you enjoyed the video, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.